Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here, and this video is going to cover setting up your workspace and making your life a little bit easier in Photoshop. Um, all right, so let's get started. Um, in Photoshop, whoops, you can go to the window um, menu, and what you can do is you can arrange your workspace, and then you can also, um, you know, change essential workspaces and make your own and things like that. So you can have a workspace just set up for painting. And what it does is it moves things around. For instance, uh, if you're gonna do digital painting, you need a lot of access to your layers and to your brushes and things like that. Um, so it's really helpful. Um, it's also nice to have color swatches as well because maybe you're not gonna be selecting your own colors. Instead, you're gonna be choosing pre-selected colors. Okay, again, let's go back to Windows. And instead of um, that instead of painting, maybe we'll go to yeah, essentials was pretty good, which is the default. So once you click that, then you have your color picker, you have your properties, adjustments, and other things like that. So one of the things you can do is to click on this little uh, four line hamburger thing, and then you could close the entire tab group, which will give you some more space with like layers and things like that. So if you're going to do painting, you're probably going to have like 20 layers. Um, so it might be good to have all of them um, visible right here, especially if you're going to be clicking and selecting colors and maybe you want to fine tune how you change the amount of light or dark and how much saturation and what the actual color is. So, you know, it's, it's nice to have access to these things. One of the other things I like to do is to go to window and I always have my brushes available. So this will set up and nest right there. And it's pretty, it's pretty convenient because sometimes you want to be able to have access to a lot of different brushes. And you know, you can kind of download your own. There's a million videos online, so you should go check it out and figure out how to do it. Um, but you know, generally speaking, these brushes will be just fine. Like your general brushes and your dry media, you can make amazing paintings with those and you don't really need that much else. Um, but you know, um, look up the Tonko House brushes and the Jamila, um, um, I think her last name is Kopf or Knopf, K-N-O-F-F. -F. Um, look her stuff up. She's got amazing brushes. They're super, super, really helpful. Um, so at any rate, um, have this in a place that's convenient for you to use, okay? What you could do is you could close it, hide that right there, and you can tell that they're they're nested right here. So if you just kind of click on the button, the brushes will pop back up again. Um, the other thing you could do is move these around. So you can move them, you know, around your workspace and do whatever you want with them. You can also click, hold, and drag this, and then they'll nest right in there. So if you wanted to go into this other, um, you know, folder or this other, this other panel area with your layers and channels and paths. You can just do that until it turns blue and now you're set. You can move these things around. So if you want your channels to be in the front, okay, just drag it over here to the left and there it is and your layers. You can also go to the channels and then click on this little hamburger thing and then you could just close that one by itself and you don't have to close the entire tab group. Okay, and I'm just gonna close that. I use layers, I use brushes. The layers are great because there's masks and things like that. I like the brushes because, you know, you can kind of do some stuff with them. Let me close this tab group. And of course, I, I love using the, the, the color picker as well. Now, um, one of the things you could do also with the arrange button, um, I really enjoy doing a, um, a two vertical um, type of a setup, or I'll just go to a new window with whatever the file is. So you can kind of see like, here's my file, and if I drag and move this downwards, then I've got the actual artwork right here. If I go and click over here, there's my artwork again. And what I could do is now I can go back to the window and to the arrange, and then I can do a two, two up setup. So it's pretty convenient because now I have both pieces of artwork. And part of the reason I like this is because um, you know, I could zoom out on one of them and have it really tiny and far away. And then on the other one, I can click and I can fine tune all of the details. So, you know, I could be, I could be focusing over here, you know, on, you know, zooming in, but I could see the entire artwork next door. And, um, you know, I could see what the entire pose looks like. 
It's also convenient because, you know, you could shrink this down. So you see how I just kind of um, pulled that separately. This, this will give me some additional space to move stuff around. Um, so I can make this one take up, you know, maybe 80% of my, my real estate. And then this guy right here will take up 10% of the real estate. And then I could go in and, you know, um, I could do some sketching, okay? So, you know, here's me mouse drawing, okay? So, yeah. Um, so here, now I, can, now I can go and do some of that fine detail and stuff like that. I'm not using a Cintiq right now, I'm just drawing with a mouse, which is like drawing with a brick. <laughs> so anyways, um, give this stuff a try. Um, again, go to the window menu, so if there's anything that you're missing, it's found here, and then it will show up there. Um, if you're going to do a lot of illustration like I am, think about layers, think about brushes, think about your colors. Um, try this two panel setup where you go to window, arrange, and then you do a new window for the same document file that you have. It will say untitled one. So this one is a new window of untitled one. And you can see there's another one. So you can do three. You can do as many as you want. So you could do a small, medium, and a large. And then finally, the last thing is um, in the workspaces. So window, workspace, what you can do is you can make your own, you could reset, you can make a new workspace, you could delete a workspace. So I like this sketching one, which is kind of like what we just saw a second ago. This is one that I, you know, saved previously. All right, guys, I hope that video was helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.